Patrick Vitaturi. I'm a board member at Cure Uganda Hospital. It's a children's specialist hospital. And it is a center of excellence. And that's why I am so proud to be associated with this small hospital. The statistics speak volume. The number of people, number of children whose lives are saved is incredible. 1,500 every year. That is seven children being operated. And these operations are not small or ordinary operations. They are life-saving operations. So when you're involved in such a mission to save people's lives every single day, to me that is a blessing. And Uganda is fortunate that we have this hospital in the region because there's no other hospital between South Africa and Egypt that does anything like this. So we're very lucky. We have expert neurosurgeons. We have an excellent management team that has run this hospital now for 20 years. And some people don't even know about it. But this hospital does incredible work. They do so much with so little money. When you look at this hospital, uh, our budget for Uganda per child, our health budget per child, if you go and divide the total amount of money in our budget by the number of people in Uganda, you'll find it's about $6 per child per year. In those countries, each child gets $12,000 per year. So it's going to be the same. So our budgets, first of all, are very small. And that's why our healthcare system is But this unique hospital has a small budget. They raise the money internationally. They make the extra effort to do so. And they show transparency and accountability. And that's why they're able to run this system as well as they do. And they take a long time in training the neurosurgeons. You first become a doctor as a surgeon, and then they train you for another five years to specialize in this area. That shows long-term perspective and a lot of commitment. Thank you very much. Since that there is never enough money. You need more money. Why? Our population is growing so fast. Uganda's population is one of the fastest growing populations in the world at 3.2%. So these children who are born, some of them are born unlucky. I would say the word unlucky because they have not done anything wrong. And then they have this unique challenge, which means they will die within five years unless they are treated properly. Now, so many who don't know about us die. Those who come here in time, you're almost guaranteed to save your life. The one or two cases that don't make it here is because they came too late and the damage was too much. Otherwise, if you come here in time, you will be saved, whether you have money or you don't. And that's what is very unique about this hospital. To the parents. What you think? It is really witchcraft. You cannot be a Christian because our country is largely, 85% of the population are Christian. Either you're saved, Catholic, or Protestant. Then the 15% are Muslim. Now, we have moved away from witchcraft and those things of curses. And then you still believe that a child when has, is born with this condition or has this condition at an early age is a curse. No, it is science. We need to embrace science. Ugandans have been educated. We've had independence for 60 years. And here we are still talking about such rubbish. No. If a child is sick, the child needs to be given a fair chance of treatment so the child can live a normal life. Thank you. You appeal to the government? My appeal to the government is to support this hospital. It's doing so much work for so little, and it's helping Ugandans, and it's employing Ugandans. It has trained Ugandans. The number of expatriates in this hospital are two at a maximum. The rest are Ugandans. Why can't we support such an initiative? Rather than say, let's duplicate it elsewhere, this should be at a much higher level, fully supported by the government so we can scale up, have more beds, treat more people, train more people. That's the future for this country. Thank you.